Hello students, you are most welcome to the world of substances. You already know the substances are of two types. One is pure substance, other is impure substance. Pure substance is that which is made up of one kind of atoms or molecules. And impure substances are mixtures. Whether the substance is pure or impure, they all are made up of molecules. And these molecules are made up of atoms. And the atoms represents a particular element. And to represent the element itself, we use symbols. These symbols are the backbone of any language. Example, language of English have their own symbols. Language of Hindi can be known by learning the symbols used for Hindi. Can you tell me the language which is known by learning the symbols used for chemistry? Yes? Yes! That is the language of chemistry. So the topic of the day is language of chemistry. Another topic, language of chemistry. Today we are going to learn atomicity, the classification of molecules on the basis of atomicity, monoatomic molecule, diatomic molecule, triatomic molecule, tetraatomic molecule, and octatomic molecules. After that, we will take compound and mixtures. Then we will switch on to symbols. Before going to all of these, let us know the few basic terms which are generally used in chemistry. They are the keywords. These keywords are atom, molecule, and element. Now, first of all, to know the language of chemistry, let us know deeply what does the atom, molecule, and element means. Now, dear students, let us take the basic topic. Basic topic is atom. We already know about atom. Now we are going to discuss the, some of the main properties of atom. That atom is the smallest particle of an element which take part in a chemical reaction. It may or may not exist independently. Example, atom of carbon, C612, atom of helium, He24. 2 is the atomic number, 4 is the mass number. Here 6 is the atomic number and 12 is the mass number. This C indicates the symbol of an atom, that is carbon atom, and H indicates the symbol of atom of an helium atom. Next is molecule. M O L E C U N E. Molecule. Molecule is the smallest particle of matter which has independent existence. Therefore, Molecule is considered as the basic unit of matter in any state. Example, molecule of water is H2O. Dear students, when we talk about the molecule, we know that molecule is made up of atoms. When two or more than two atoms combine chemically, they form molecule. This molecule is the smallest particle of matter. Already we have discussed that atom is the smallest particle of matter but it can exist, it may exist or may not exist but molecule 100% it exists independently which has independent existence. Therefore, due to this reason only the molecule is considered as the basic unit of matter in any state. State, solid state, liquid state, gas state. Now example of molecule is water which is represented chemically by the formula H2O. Well students, we already came to know about atom, then we studied about molecule, now we are going to learn about atomicity. The number of atoms of an element in a molecule is called its atomicity. What is atomicity? It is the number of atoms of an element in a molecule. Now we can classify molecules on the basis of atomicity under five categories. Monoatomic molecule, example H2. Diatomic molecule, example N2. Triatomic molecule, example O3. Tetraatomic molecule, example P4. Octaatomic molecule, example S8. Dear students, now we came to know that atomicity is the number of atoms of an element present in a molecule. These molecules are classified as monoatomic molecule. When one atom is present in one molecule, then it is said to be monoatomic molecule. Example helium. 
Since helium is having only one atom in its molecule, here nothing is indicated. This means it has only one atom. And here it represents molecule. Nothing is indicated. It means it is one molecule. In one molecule, one atom is present. Therefore, it is monoatomic molecule. The second is dioatomic molecules. When two atoms are present in one molecule, then that molecule is said to be dioatomic molecule. Example, nitrogen molecule. Look here carefully. This is the molecule of nitrogen. In nitrogen, here nothing is written, therefore it is one molecule. And here two is written, therefore two atoms. Now two atoms are present in one molecule, therefore this molecule is diatomic molecule. Next is the triatomic molecules. When three atoms are present in one molecule, then it is said to be triatomic molecule. Example, ozone molecule. Now look here carefully, the ozone molecule. Ozone molecule is indicated by O3. 3 indicates the number of oxygen atom. Though thus 3 oxygen atoms are present in one molecule of ozone. So here nothing is written, therefore it is one molecule. And here 3 is written, therefore 3 atoms of oxygen are present in one molecule, therefore it is triatomic molecules. Now come the tetraatomic molecules. When 4 atoms are present in one molecule, then it is said to be a tetraatomic molecule. Example, phosphorus molecule. Now look here carefully. This is tetraatomic molecule. Example, phosphorus. Here, nothing is written, therefore it is one molecule. Here, 4 is written, therefore 4 atoms of phosphorus are present in one molecule. Therefore, P4 is known as tetraatomic molecules. Now next comes the octaatomic molecules. In which 8 atoms are present in one molecule. Example, molecule of sulfur. Now look here carefully. This is sulfur. Sulfur is indicated by the symbol S. And here 8 is written. This 8 indicates 8 atoms of sulfur. Nothing is written here. It means it is one molecule of sulfur. One molecule of sulfur consists of 8 atoms. Therefore, this molecule is octaatomic molecules. So far, we have studied about the atom, molecule and atomicity. On the case of atoms and molecules, the molecules are classified as following. That is monoatomic molecule, diatomic molecule, triatomic molecule, tetraatomic molecule and octaatomic molecule. Well dear students, now we are going to learn the difference between compound and mixture. Compound. When atoms or molecules of different elements combine chemically, in a fixed ratio, they form a compound. Here, two words should be noted. One is they combine chemically. Second is in a fixed ratio. Example, NaCl, sodium chloride, H2O, water, and NH3, ammonia. Next is mixture. When atoms or molecules of different elements combine physically in any ratio, they form mixture. Here, point should be noted that the word physical is used and any ratio is used. Example, salt solution and muddy water. Dear students, now try to understand in a better way. The difference between compound and mixture. When the atoms or molecules of different elements combine chemically in a fixed ratio, they form compound. Example, sodium chloride is a compound because in sodium chloride, NaCl, Na and Cl are combined chemically. In water, hydrogen and oxygen is combined chemically. In ammonia, the nitrogen and hydrogen is combined chemically. And they are combined chemically in fixed ratio. Therefore, it is a compound. And the properties of the compound is different from the combining elements, combining constituents. Now come the mixture. When the atoms or molecules of different elements or compounds or only compounds combine physically in any ratio, they form mixture. Example, salt solution, muddy water. Now let us consider salt solution. Salt solution is a homogeneous mixture. The legal constants are present uniformly and muddy water, the constants forming a heterogeneous mixture. The hydrogenous mixture, the components are not present uniformly. Whether present uniformly or present in any form, but combination is physical and they are in any ratio. Therefore, such 
कंपाउंड्स और मॉलिक्यूल्स और और एलिमेंट्स और एटम्स आर सेट टू बी अ मिक्सचर आफ्टर कंपाउंड एंड मिक्सचर नाउ वी आर स्विचिंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज सिंबल 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 इज द शॉर्ट फॉर्म फॉर द नेम ऑफ एन एलिमेंट एग्जाम्पल सिंबल ऑफ एलिमेंट हिलियम इज एच ई कैपिटल एच स्मॉल एच ई रिप्रेजेंट द सिंबल ऑफ एन एलिमेंट हिलियम टू रिप्रेजेंट इट्स एटमिक नंबर एंड फोर रिप्रेजेंट इट्स एटमिक मास सो वॉट इज एक्चुअली सिंबल एक्चुअली सिंबल इज द शॉर्ट फॉर्म फॉर द नेम ऑफ एलिमेंट हेयर एच ई इज द शॉर्ट फॉर्म फॉर हिलियम therefore h e is the symbol of helium now significance of the symbol dear students the symbol represents name of the element here the symbol h e represents the name of the element name of the element is helium second one atom of an element now first of all try to understand this concept here the symbol is written this is the symbol of helium This way we write the atomic number. In the middle we write the number of molecules. Here we write the mass number. Here we write the valency, and at this point the number of atoms. So one atom of an element. Here nothing is written, so therefore it is one atom of an element called helium. it shows definite mass of an element here helium here we write the mass number here is the mass 4 therefore definite mass of an element helium is 4 au now instead of au we are writing mu so therefore it is 4 mu thus symbol is the short form for the name of an element example symbol of element helium is hp significance of the symbol it represents the name of the element that is helium example one atom of an element third definite mass of an element so now under the fifth point we have learned symbol is a short form of an element and it signifies each symbol represents the name of an element one atom of an element and definite mass of an element now is the time for recapitulation all of you please be clear as Atom is the smallest particle of an element which take part in a chemical reaction. It may or may not exist independently. Second is molecule. When two or more than two atoms combine, they form a molecule. Molecule shows the independent existence. Therefore, it is the smallest matter. It is the smallest particle of a matter which shows independent existence in all states. That is solid, liquid, or gases. Here is atomicity. Atomicity: the number of atoms present in a molecule is said to be atomicity. the compound in compound the elements and the molecules are present in a fixed ratio they combine chemically here is a mixture in the mixture elements and the molecules are not present in a fixed ratio they are combined physically and here symbol symbol is the short form for the name of an element well students here is homework for you question number 1 define the following first is atomicity second is pure and impure substances question number 2 list the name and symbols of the elements from atomic number 1 to 20 question number 3 write the difference between compound and mixture be very careful read the chapter thoroughly and write the correct answers because we are going to assess you now is the time for activity is the milk directly obtained from cow buffalo goat is a pure milk or the milk sold by milkman or from milk dairy is a pure milk milk itself is made up of different components which are present physically therefore milk is a mixture we know that 
it is neither an element nor a compound. We also know that pure substances are made up of only one kind of atoms or molecules. Therefore, only elements and compounds are the pure substances, rest all are impure. Now activity based question for you is list any five solid substances which are pure. Second, list any five liquid substances which are impure. We will meet you soon in the next video with the answer is milk pure and which milk is pure. Wish you all good health. God blesses.